Siku ya leo unatupa nguvu tena. Siku ya leo tunakutazamia tukijua wewe ndio msaada wetu. Wewe ndio kimbilio letu. Asante. Bariki watu wako, inua watu wako. Today we expect you to move in a great way in our lives, Lord. Father, change things to the praise and glory of your name. Naombea watu wako tunaposikiza neno lako, tunapofanya devotion hii asubuhi ya leo, ninaomba neema yako ishuke na nguvu zako zitubariki. Pokea sifa na shukrani. Katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kubariki watu wako. Amen. Amen. Karibu tena. Welcome again. Asubuhi ya leo. I want to believe that God has protected you. Ninaamini ya kuwa Mungu amekulinda. Mungu amekuhifadhi. Mungu amekutendea mema. Because the God we believe in is a powerful God, is a mighty God. Na asante kwa sababu ya kuungana pamoja nami. Asubuhi leo tunapoangalia neno la Bwana. Na kama vile nilisema, we are looking in the book of Lamentation ambayo iliandikwa na nabii uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah aliandika kitabu hiki wakati wana Israeli walichukuliwa wakaenda utumwani na ilikuwa ni kiombo maombolezi. Ni maombolezi ni kilio. Na kujiuliza maswali kadhaa. And the same thing we are asking ourselves in this week. Lakini zaidi ya yote I've been focusing on finding strength to move on. How can we find strength to move on when we face calamities, when we face certain uncertainties? Wakati maisha inakuja na mambo mengine ambayo hatujui na mambo ambayo hatuko tunatarajia, how will we find strength to move on? Today, I want to look in the book of Lamentation chapter 5 verse 21. Biblia inasema, "Restore us O oh Lord and bring us back to you again give us back the joy we once held hallelujah another thing that we need for us to move on where we will draw strength is that to believe God we will restore you amini mungu atakurejesha believe 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 If there is anything that will conquer calamities is your belief. Kile unachoamini, trust in God. 
have a belief system in your life kuwa na a belief system that whatever is coming in your life whether it is bad god can make something good out of it god is a god who spiritualizes mungu ni mungu ambaye anajulikana kwa mambo mabaya anatoa mambo mazuri kwa mambo ambayo haendi vizuri anatengeneza mambo yanayokuwa mazuri in the beginning genesis chapter 1 verse 1 biblia nasema in the beginning was god and the earth was formless hakukuwa na kitu but out of bad things out of formless things mungu alitengeneza mambo so the next step the next thing for us to get strength to move on we must believe that god will restore us amini ya kuwa mungu atakurejesha believe that god can help you believe that god can perform a miracle believe that god can come and intervene in your situation wakati huu kuna kilio kingi watu wamechanganyikiwa hii ugonjwa ijulikani imetoka wapi hawajui tunaelekea wapi but i have come to tell you this morning believe god can create something good out of this disease we will be more better than anything so ndugu wetu anasema restore us oh lord and bring back Bring us back to you again. Give us back the joy we once held. Restore us, O oh Lord. Did you know that God specializes in bringing people from beginning kuanzisha tena? Mungu ni Mungu ambao anakuwa na mwanzo mpya. Even salvation. Salvation ya wale watu ambao wamekata tamaa. You are almost dying because of your sin. But God touches you by his grace. Mungu anakuguza na neema yake na anakurejesha na anakuanzisha tena. Three things you should not do wakati huu. Kuna mambo matatu ustahili kutenda kipindi hiki. Jambo la kwanza do not express don't express your grief. Bwana aitwe asifiwe. Don't repress. Usifinyilie uchungu ile unapitia. Usifinyilie achilia cry before god tell god i'm confused nimeachishwa kazi sijui kunaenda aje nimechanganyikiwa release yourself before god that is the beginning of getting a new strength number two you should not do is that do not resign from life wacha kuongea maneno ya kinyume don't talk negative nimesikia watu wengi saa zingine wanasema oh serikali ina feature hii mambo ni kubwa nini no believe talk positive Don't resign. Don't give up. Believe that something is coming. See God working. Because when you start resigning from life, Satan will take advantage of that and he pins you down. Number three, you should not do. Do not retreat into resentment. Resentment does not work. It only hurts. Resentment does not hurt other people. The people you are resenting itakuumiza usifinyilie na usianze kuona nikana kwamba hii jambo itabadilika believe god my brothers my sister this morning i want to tell you do you want new strength to move on when we are confused when everybody is confused pastors are confused bishops are confused presidents are confused countries are confused wengine hata wajui they are trying and error kusimamisha ugonjwa listen believe in god that he will restore us again I see God restoring Kenya again. I see God restoring us again. And I see God restoring you. Umeachishwa kazi, unasikia umefinyika moyo. Listen to me this morning. I see God restoring you in the name of Jesus. I want to finish in the book of Lamentation chapter 3 verse 25 to 26. Inasema, the Lord is good to everyone. I like that. The Lord is good to everyone who trust in him. So it is best for us to wait in patient to wait for him to save us. Mungu ni mwema kwa wale ambao wanamuamini. Na kwa hivyo ni vizuri tumngoje kwa uvumilivu, tumngoje atuokoe. God is going to save this nation in Jesus name. God is going to deliver us from the hands of this pandemic in Jesus name. So let us wait on him, believe in him, trust in him. And this day and this day as you trust him you will see God delivering you. Uko hapo ujaokoka you have not believed in God 
you've not given your life to Jesus, today I want to, to, to take you through this step ya kukuanzisha tena katika maisha mapya. Just pray this simple prayer with me and God will save you and will deliver you. Close your eyes and say, Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you. I'm a sinner. Save me. Deliver me. And I will be your child. Asanti ni okoe. Katika jina la yesu, ni miomba na kuamini. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for your people today. As we believe in you, we are waiting patiently for your salvation. We are waiting patiently for your restoration. Restore us again. Let us rejoice again. Let us be found in the house of God again. Jumping as we used to do, Lord. Let us see your salvation. Let us see your deliverance. Naombea wale ambao wamefichushika moyo, wale ambao wanajiuliza leo nitapata nafasi wapi? Nitapata kazi wapi? I pray that Lord restore them in Jesus name. Fungua milango na uwabariki utukufu wa jina lako. Asante. Wenu na watende mema. Katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na kubariki watu wako. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I love you and I'm praying for you. Nina kuombea. I am praying for you. May God bless you. Shalom in Jesus name. Amen. You are Yahweh Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, 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 Alpha and Omega, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Thank you.